Hi, good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome back to live counter review using technical analysis. So for today, uh, the flow will be the same as, as usual. I'll go through the economic calendar first, then uh, the major indices and commodities, uh, followed by some of the sectors like your Feng M, uh, Semicons, uh, the US banks, as well as EVs. Then I'll go through some of the counters that you have raised in the chat box. Okay, so uh, I'll begin. So I think this this week wise in terms of the economic calendar, uh, not uh, is like lesser than last week I think. So for tomorrow, something to take note will be the retail sales coming out at thirty pm. Then uh, so have some Fed speaks. Uh, then on Wednesday have uh, we will have um, industrial production. Uh, nine fifteen pm. Uh, core inventory will go at ten thirty pm. Uh, Thursday morning, something important will be the FOMC meeting minute. So that's coming at 2 a.m. Uh, then 8 30 p.m. we have jobless claims uh coming out. Uh then Friday, nothing much. Uh Fed balance sheet 4 30 a.m. Yeah, so that's it for the economic calendar. Okay, then I'll move on to the indices. So Bitcoin, I think currently uh very not much happening, so uh still very range pattern going on uh, recently and then uh, looks like it's just trading in the lower range after the breakdown over here you see it just yeah just trading in the lower range over here yeah. so for now um, support looks like to be around 28.6k to about the uh, 29.2k level uh, resistance we tested like a few times recently is around 30k to about uh, possibly the next resistance could be around 30.4k Yep. So for Bitcoin, I think nothing much unless you manage to break above this resistance level around 30k over here. Yep. Then uh, move on to Dow Jones. So Dow Jones, one of the, in the recent, the, the indices actually pulled back. Right? Dow Jones was actually one of the stronger ones. See, uh, in terms of the pattern, what you see is still holding much, very much in a range over here. So currently, we the support is around the 35k level over here. Uh, the next, the, if it pull, if it happens to pull back a little more, right, I think the strong, the one of the strong support will be around the thirty four point six k level, which was actually this prior uh strong resistance over here that we broke out from. Yeah. Then uh something to I see as well is this uh uptrend channel over here taking place. So if you do hit uh some if you do hit the channel support over here, probably be around thirty four point seven over here thirty four point eight, then there could be some support coming in as well. Uh, current resistance is is over here thirty five point five k over here, yeah. Then uh, yeah, to about thirty five point eight k. So I think for Dow Jones this week, I think this will be the downside over here, while the upside could be around here. So it's about roughly even on both sides. I would say so. Could see a little bit of a range trade, uh, possibly for Dow this week. I think yeah. Then uh. Next one, Nasdaq. So Nasdaq has pulled back, I think the most compared to the three indices. So for Nasdaq, looking short term wise bearish because uh, we had a breakdown of this uptrend channel over here, and then this came after a uh, bearish divergence on MAC. So uh, we are seeing the negative momentum coming in now, and then uh another thing is that we also broke below this fourteen k swing this support level over here, and then uh. Price also went under 13.8k over here, this prior resistance level. So currently we are close to another support level that is around possibly around 13.5k over here. Previous uh this previous resistance level, then there was support over here. And this could be this um a short-term downtrend channel support over here as well. So for next day, I'm I'm we could see some sort of a bounce over here if it's supported at these support levels. Then uh, resistance wise, I think the first resistance level around thirteen point eight k over here. Yeah, if you go further, if you go higher up, then possibly could hit about fourteen point one k over here. Yeah, then uh, if it if over here you still don't find support, the next support level to look out for will be around thirteen point three k over here. Uh, this swing low as well as a prior uh resistance over here. Yeah, if I think pullback over here should be able to find some support already. Uh, so for Nasdaq. Um, I think could see a little bit of a range as well if we if we are spotted at this level. Yeah. 
Then S&P looking a bit similar to Nasdaq, uh, also broke down this uptrend channel. Then uh, you see an MAC there was a negative divergence as well. Um, and also currently in this downtrend channel. So for S&P, we, it's a bit stronger than Nasdaq. Um, we retested this 4440 level over here. We actually closed out the gap over here. And then on Friday, we had this candle coming in. So if it, if for this week, if we find, if we do support at this level, then we could see some sort of a bounce as well. Then resistance is around 4,005 over here as the first level. Second level will be around 4,450. So 4,550. Yeah. Then for S&P, I think uh, there's quite a few confluence of supports over here that I think we could see some sort of a bounce. Uh, prior resistance, turn support, retest, and this uh, short-term channel support, as well as possibly this trend line support over here as well. So yeah, I'm planning to watch out for at the start of this week, see whether we're able to find support for the three indices at least uh, three levels. Uh, next one, Go. Uh, Go, I think currently is looking a bit weak still. Uh, so pull back. Um, then this level around 19455, uh, they managed to hold as well. Then also the nothing is that this prior resistance of 1930 also they managed to support. And adding on with this trend line uh, uh, support, it looks like we also broke down a bit currently. So look, all signs pointing to possibly some downside for gold. Um, could possibly retest the next swing low around 1890 over here. If you go lower, could see maybe 1850, which was their prior swing high over here as well. And so it doesn't go looking quite weak for now. Uh, oil, remains, oil remains rather strong, but I'm expecting some sort of a pullback oil so it has been trending quite nicely in this um uh, this stretch over here by supported by this uptrend support line but i think for oil we tested a key level which is around 83.83.5 over here which is prior swing high that actually we saw some uh it was a key turning point so we actually tested over here and you see with this um uh, with this bearish and golfing candle, if you do break this, break down this uptrend support line, I think could see some sort of pullback. Yep. So I think uh, some near-term support for oil, if it does retrace, will possibly be a retest of this zone over here, which was like uh, this uh, this support over here is about 78.5 to about 80 over here. Yeah. So next one is VIX. Okay, VIX, I think nothing much now still, Although with the heightened volatility recently, it is still trading very much in the range over here. So resistance around 17 to 18 over here, the support is coming in. Uh, support should be around 14 over here. For, yeah, then the lower end is around close to 13. Okay, then next one is uh, copper. So copper... Copper recently, uh, they managed to hold this ascending triangle formation, broke down this uh, trend line support as well as the swing low support, down 3.85. So seeing a little bit of a downside momentum for now, could test possibly 3.7, which is this um, which is this main uh, uptrend channel support, as well as a uh, problem with this swing low over here. Yeah. Okay, now I'll move on to some of the the sectors. Okay, let me see. Uh, first one, I think I thought about Feng M. So I start off with Meta. Okay, for Meta, currently, um, okay, Meta currently we broke below. Uh, last week, what happened? We broke below this three ten level, which was this uh support. And after that, uh, we actually close out this gap over here at around 300. Yep. So uh, possibly at this level, we could, if it's very strong, we could find some support over here upon the, since this was like a prior resistance level, and we could see some sort of bounce right away. But uh, another thing is that, uh, if, okay, we then given that this uh, 297, 298 level is a prior resistance over here as well. So this will be like a resistance uh, turn support at the first level. Um, if let's say continue weakness, right, then uh, we would see the next support level will be around 288 over here, this swing low as well as a previous uh, resistance and turn support over here. Uh, so for metal, I think currently um, downside wise, I think could be looking at this area over here. Then upside wise, first probably a retest of 310 over here as first level. Second, 
level of resistance are you coming at around 317, 318, this swing highs um, over here. So let's see whether there's some support coming today at this level yeah, for possible bounce for metal. Okay, next on uh, Apple. So Apple's significant uh, development was that uh, book down of this uh, main uptrend channel. So the uptrend has ended um, there with, with the breakdown over here, but price uh, currently we are seeing some, after the very bearish movement over here, currently we are seeing some sort of uh, a range over here. Yeah, so price uh, support is trying to come in around 177 while the resistance is around 180 over here. So if 177 holds, then I think for now, we might just do a little bit of a sideways uh, trade uh, while resistance at 180, the next resistance likely 182, 183. Um, if 177 does not support, the next level to look at possibly around 175, we will close out this gap over here, prior, uh, previous gap, as well as uh, this will be a 175 to me, I think is a, is a more it's a key level since there was a prior it was like a prior resistance a uh, few times over here as well yeah so over here there might be some support coming in if it's very weak then the next level to look out for is around closer to 170 171 which was like the this uh range support over here uh previously yeah, so these are some things to look out for for people uh this week okay next one uh amazon one of the stronger uh M still. So Amazon, uh, currently we are pulling back from this uptrend, up, uh, the main uptrend channel resistance around 142 after the, after the earnings. So for now, I think um, some supports could be quite near, which is a potential retest of this 133 uh, swing high over here. Then uh, also 136 was also a level over here. So I will expect some support to come in at these levels. Then current resistance will be around 142, uh, around 140 to 142 over here, research was the uh, recent highs. But overall, the if you're looking at a longer term trend wise, I think it's still not it's still not a bit uh damaged. Lah. Yeah, I'm still still in the uptrend looking at the mid-term longer term. But short term wise could be seeing some sort of a pullback and maybe just some sideways trade of consolidation first. Okay, then Netflix. Okay, Netflix, um, Netflix also quite weak. So uh we had a range over it tried to price uh rebounded from this swing, this uh swing low close to 413, then rebounded back up and we form a range over here. Uh then on Friday, this was this wasn't very good because uh we had this range over here, right? The support is around four to eight over here. And Friday, we actually had a very close below. So this shows us that could be price could be possibly coming down to test this uh, 413, 414 level again yeah, over here. Then when you look at a more of a mid-term, the uh, bigger picture wise, this could be like a bearish uh, head and shoulders formation. Uh, yeah, so something to possibly take note of for Netflix. So potentially we might come down and test this support again, 413, 414 level. Um, then the next support level down there will likely be around 396, which was this consolidation ring support over here. Yeah, so for Netflix wise, I think still looking a bit weak uh, for now. Then Google, uh, Google a bit similar to Amazon. So uh, still one of the stronger ones. Uh, the main uptrend over here is still not damaged as well. Uh, but short term wise, we are just seeing a little bit of a pullback over here since the market sentiment is quite weak for now. So first level of support, some uh, I would think that if we do test around 126, possibly uh, there could be some good support coming in for, for Google. So this was a prior resistance over here, quite a strong resistance, like where is a good support over here. Then secondly, is this a short-term downtrend channel support over here as well. Then third thing, if we do go down, to this level will be this main up uh, retest of this main uptrend channel support over here as well. Yep. Then current resistance will likely be around 131, uh, these swing highs as well as the short term uh, downtrend channel uh, resistance over here. Yep. So for Google, I think currently just maybe just uh, just a bit sideways over here in this in this zone. Lah. 
But if it, if it, let's say after the pullback over here, right, then if it breaks out again over here, right, then that could be a good sign. Since that is one of the stronger ones, uh, this could be just like a bull flag over here. The price went up, then there's a, there's a pullback taking place. Then before another continuation. Yeah. Okay, then last one, uh, Microsoft. So Microsoft also one of the weaker ones. Uh, last week wasn't was quite bearish. So we broke down below this three two eight uh neckline over here. This support. Then another thing is that uh in terms of the the mid term trend right this uptrend channel over here looks like there's a possible breakdown took place over here as well. So currently the it's quite bearish. Uh potentially in if price continues to trade lower, we could see maybe a retest of closer to 313 over here, which was like a prior swing, swing low over here and a prior previous uh, range resistance. And at this level, this I would say that this is possibly a key level. So because previously, um, in the past, you can see previous, it was the previous swing low support and as well as a resistance in the past. So this is a level to watch out for, for Microsoft. So, yeah, so still quite bearish. Um, resistance slightly around 328, 330s over here. If it does do a retest of the recent uh, support that we actually broke down of. Yeah, so to conclude, in terms of Feng M wise, uh, we see there's a bit of a divergence. You see that some counters like your Amazon, Google, uh, looking a bit better, but the rest, like some of the weaker ones, like your Apple, uh, Microsoft, uh, some of them have actually broken down their some of their mid term, uh, trend uptrend uh channel. So, yeah. So I think my recommendation is to. Focus more, maybe more on the stronger ones. Uh, then uh, to maybe can look at some of the retracements and whether you can continue the trend, the main trend. Yeah. So that's it for Feng M. Then I move on to uh, I think the US, uh, financials. So the banks. Okay, XLF. Uh, holding up actually quite well in terms of the recent market pullback. So it looks like the or since there is quite. Quite long since the breakout it took place over here. This downtrend resistance line price still holding over here. Quite well. I think uh it's looks like it's not a false break uh, over here. Mm, currently um uh, support is around 34.7 over here for XLF. If it let's say it comes down a bit lower, we'll be around closer to 34.2 over here. Yeah, so currently just yeah, maybe just see a little bit of a range consolidation. Resistance could be around 35.7 over here. Currently. And then first one I start with AP Morgan. So AP Morgan in terms of the trend wise, I think still okay. Uh, after the, the rally took place over here, what we're seeing is like a, uh, just a pullback, normal uh, pullback in this uh, short term downtrend uh, channel. So for now, our uh, short term support could be around 150, 151 over here. Uh, given that this was this was the prior resistance level over here, so a horizontal level. So expect some range trade over here, then see whether price is able to break out of this uh pullback channel. Then we could see a continuation of the trend over here. Yeah. So JP Morgan still wants a stronger uh US banks uh for now. The next one I move on to City Group. So CA Group, uh, not as strong as JP Morgan. So uh, previously mentioned there's a consolidation triangle possibly taking place and looks like there was a breakdown that took place uh, recently over here. And then another thing was that uh, you see in the consolidation triangle, higher lows was, higher swing lows was being formed, right? And we actually broke down below this last swing low, around 45.2. So currently this, this area over here, 45.2 to about uh, 45.6, there could be some resistance upon the retest. Yeah, so for now, I, I'm thinking for C group a little bit bearish. Uh, if you, let's say this is a breakdown, then we could see some further bit downside to try and test the 43.5 level first in the in the, in the short term. Yeah, so this is the first swing low over here. The next swing low will be around 41.5 over here. Uh, next one is Wells Fargo. So for Wells Fargo also, uh, not looking as bullish. So 
looks like we possibly broke down on this uh, uptrend channel over here as well. So what's hold the last sort of the last line of defense currently is like this um this $43 level. So as a prior resistance, uh if you do a retest over here, could see some support for a bounce. Then uh the resistance wise could be currently could be around 44.5 to about 45 over here. Lah. Yep. So but in terms of the structure wise, uh looking a bit bearish for now, since that previously there was a uh, higher lows, higher swing lows being formed. And then over here you see uh there's a very strong pullback that actually broke below this trend channel over here. And I think last one is uh, Bank of America. Okay. Okay, Bank of America, uh, recent pullback wise. So currently, uh, at this, in terms of the trend wise, it's currently at the, near the channel support. And then this was also a retest of this swing high around 30.7 over here. So I think at this level could be quite good for possible entry. Uh, this level, since that I think look, in terms of price action wise, you can see that some support is around at this level over here where price actually bounced one time and then a few times over here as well. So if price continue to find support, I think we could see some sort of bounce possibly to retest the first level of resistance. Uh, this swing high possibly at uh, 31.9. The next resistance will be around 32.8 over here. So this for Bank of America. So for the Yes, banks. In the short conclusion, I think, uh, JP Morgan and Bank of America are still looking the better ones. Then, uh, Wells Fargo and Citigroup are showing a bit more weakness as compared to the these these two, la. Yeah. And okay, the next one, uh, semi cons. Okay, for semi cons, the uh, first one I go through the this the index, which is the Philadelphia semi coin index, uh, socks. So for stocks, the, the thing was that um uh it looks like there's a breakdown of this uh short term uptrend channel over here, and this was followed with the bearish divergence on the MACD as well. So I think uh we do see, there's a chance that we could see some further pullback to maybe test uh closer to about three thousand four over here. So this will be the uptrend, the main uptrend channel support. Around here, then there was a prior swing low over here as well. Uh, so some weakness in the semi-con sector over here. Yeah. And I start with uh, NVIDIA. Okay, for NVIDIA, uh, important thing is that this this uh, breakdown of this around 438 over here. So prior resistance and support, support, then the, on Wednesday, we actually broke down over here, so quite bearish for now. Uh, second thing is also that this, this uh, uptrend channel over here, right, is a breakdown over here on Friday as well. So with that looking bearish, um, the next support level to look at will possibly, will probably be maybe around uh, 395, about 3400 over here. 395 to 400 prior resistance uh, over here. Then if you go down even lower, then that will be around 375 this swing lows over here. Yeah. So for NVIDIA, a bit bearish. Um yeah. I think that is one of the weaker ones up for now in the, in the sem among the semi coins. Uh, next one, AMD. So uh AMD, I think currently uh is trying to test the key support over here at 107 again. Lah. So, um, but in terms of the main trend wise, I think currently it might be trading in this downtrend channel over here. So after that, after the results, it was try to test the resistance over here, 116 to about 119 over here. We couldn't get past it. And then price actually sold down over here, trying to retest the support over here again. So for me, I think there's a possibility the support might break since it uh, tested so many times over here. So let's say if there's a breakdown that occurs, the next support level to watch out for possibly around 10, I think it's possibly around 102. Um there was a prior swing high over here. Yeah. For AMD. And then uh another support would be to look at this 
the this trans channel support over here as well. So this will, this area would be the confluence of these these two uh supports, which possibly are hundred to one o two over here. Then I think over here then there could be some bounce for AMD. Yeah. The next one TSM. Uh, TSM currently uh looking uh a bit um precarious also. So in terms of I drew okay, I drew a few trend channels over here. The first one would be this. Uh, first one would be this breakdown of this uh trend channel over here. This was it took place on Friday itself over here, and this was followed by a wedge over here. So um. Currently, the price, the previous support around, which was around uh ninety four over here, this swing low, looks like we actually break down of it uh, last end of towards the end of last week. So a bit bearish over here. So I think for TSM, there is there's there is a chance that uh we we could uh retest the next support which are closer to eighty nine to ninety dollars over here, which coincides with this uh swing low over here, as well as this uh this channel support over here as well maybe i just i just uh need to different color to differentiate yeah so there's another channel going on over here as well so over here then i think it could be some support coming in for dsm yeah so looking a bit uh bearish as well Okay, the next one is um Marvel Tech. So Marvel uh witness in semicons um maybe go and test the, the support which is around 57 over here. So it tested it over here again, see so whether it's able to hold. Uh, but over here there's already some weakness shown up, which was this fire resistance zone air support then break down over here or from Wednesday onwards. So resist the resist short term resistance part likely will be a retest of 61 over here. It does go back up. Uh, so over here we see whether support can come in 57, which is uh a key level over here. If it doesn't, then likely price will go and test the next support level down, which is possibly around uh first level could be around 53, uh, given that uh prior resistance level where is the support. The next strong, if the next, if it goes down a, a lot, the next strong support level could be around 49 over here, which is this, this uh, strong resistance previously. Yeah. Then this would be a very strong support if it does come down to, yeah, to this level. Uh, so for Marvel, the structure wise over here is a range, but uh, watch out if the support over here must come in. If not, there's a possible breakdown to the, the, towards the downside. Okay, then next one, uh, Micron. Okay, Micron, I think, uh, also looking uh, a bit of a range. Uh, so, um, also bearish. Uh, after retest of this seventy dollars uh, level resistance, uh, price searching for to test the support again around sixty four. Over here, this is one level. Uh, next level will be this. Recent lows is closer to what sixty point six over here. Yeah, so let's see whether price is price is able to do a rebound over here. This level support. If it doesn't, then likely go and test the next level over here again. And uh, this one like how about Broadcom? Okay, Broadcom. Um, also bearish. Uh, after breakdown of this uh uptrend support line, also the, the range support around E77 price just breaking this down this uh also pull down E47 this support. And currently, I think we are near this next support, which is around 820. So we see where the price is able to, to, to hold at this level. Uh, if not likely to go ahead and test uh, the next support 785, possibly this level. Yeah, so also bearish over here, you see the sell down. Yep. So in terms of semicon wise, uh, we can see general weakness everywhere. So yeah, uh, I think uh there could be some more weakness to come out like, if the key support doesn't hold for the semicons. 
Okay, uh, then last sector I'll talk about is the EVs. So I start with uh, Tesla. Okay, for Tesla, um, it's a bit of the, the it's the pullback is a bit gradual over here. You see like, uh, it's like moving down in a 45 degree fashion. So the breakdown of 255 price went to test the next spot. This swing low around 240. Uh, over here we have a hammer, but uh, pre, pre market we are down again. Uh, this so uh, we could if we could go and posit. There's a high high chance we could go up, go and close out this gap, this gap previously around two three five. Okay, so at this level, this two three five is possibly one support level. So previously, um, looking at this blue color trend line over here, right? So there was a few supports over here. Then after the then when there was some breakdown, then after that price subsequently recovered back. So at this level, there could be some support. If you go and test it, 235, confirm at this uh, price gap over here. And then previously, 235 at this level was like, a, uh, there was a swing high created in October last year. So this is one support level if Tesla is able to find some support over here. Uh, if it doesn't, then likely I would think that price could pull back further to maybe towards closer to 218. Over here, this swing high over here, and as well as this uh, this level. Yeah, so let's see whether today there could be some support coming in at this level for bounce. If not, then there could be some further pullback. Yeah. So for Tesla looking still a bit weak for now. But uh if there's some support over here, then there's potential for some rebound. Yeah. Uh, okay, next one. Oh, for X Pink, currently, I think we are quite near for some supports. Um, we are going to retest the uh, this prior range breakout level, which is around um, this level is around 15.6 over here, around there. So we are quite close already. So this level, we could see some support come in, uh, given that price previously this was a re resistance over here as well. So in this holds, we could see some sort of a bounce, then a shorter resistance closer to $18 for now, around there. Okay. Uh, if somehow price doesn't, if price continues to, the, the bearish moment con momentum continues, then possibly the next, we could see some the next support result, 13.6 over here. Yeah, so let's see whether there's some support coming for XPing uh, this week at the first level of support. Okay, then next one, uh, Rivian. Rivian breakdown of this, uh, this channel over here last week. Uh, price went to test the first level of support at around uh, 21.5 prior resistance over here, so you see where some bounce can come in. Um, if not, uh, they could go in and test the next level of support, uh, which is closer to $19. Uh, so these two levels would like be the support uh, currently. Then the next one is Neo. Okay, Neo also pulling back. This was after it hit the, this, main downtrend channel uh, resistance resistance over here around 16 and putting back uh, tested uh, some supports around uh, 14 as well as 13.2 looks like the whole price is going down lower again so uh, some next level of support would possibly be around 11.2 over here and about 10.7 over here so if we continue to pull back for new. Okay, then I talk about uh, Lucid as well. So Lucid, okay, Lucid is still just trending downwards over here. Break, uh, break down of this 6.8 level, then there was a retest. When price came back down again. So for now, it looks like Still quite bearish. Uh, possibly could even test this swing low around six point two again. 
uh, lower if continue the downside and possibly go and test the downside around 5.5 over here as well. And so looks it looking weak as well over here. In general, EV is also looking quite weak. Uh, yeah, in looking at all the all the counters. Okay, so now I think uh, I'll talk about the the counters that you have raised in the chat box. So let me see what are some of the, the common ones that you have talked about. Okay, uh, I'll start with chronological order. So I see uh, SoFi mentioned like a few times. So for SoFi currently, I think uh, previous is not very good uh, because this previous resistance around 10, after the results, there was a very nice uh, nice candle over here. Then subsequently, the pullback broke this level. And the second level at this uptrend up support around 9.5, we also broke. So currently, it's looking uh, the, up, the very nice uptrend over here. looks like it's ended. Uh, and we are moving more, more towards the range over here. So in terms of now, uh, I think, uh, if the downside momentum continues, uh, go and test the the goods, the better support will probably be around 7.98, about around, around here, which will be a retest of the lows over here. Yeah. Since that previously there was a, this was like a strong resistance, like a line resistance over here. Then possibly maybe price will just trade in like a, this range over here. Yeah. And I think so far there's also bearish divergence and price made a higher high there was a lower high form over here so yeah so um, could possibly see some downside momentum if this actually continues then the resistance for now is around 9.1 to about 9.4 over here okay next one uh upstart okay this counter actually dropped a lot uh recently so upstart uh breakdown of this uh this wedge over here, then uh, broke below this 53 level as well as some previous uh, levels at 41 as well as 37 over here. Over here. So currently price holding price is uh, currently holding around 31 over here. So in terms of now, I think, um, If yeah, it's quite hard to gauge because of this, the way it fell was like a 90 degrees. So um in terms of the downside wise, it could go ahead and test the 20, the $29 level, which was like this swing low as well as prior prior resistance over here. Yeah, then some of the lower support would be around 26 over here as well. This level price, this prior resistance level. Yeah, then. If it does some sort of a dead cap bounce currently, then uh, the levels to look at will probably be around 30, 30, uh, 38 over here as well as uh, possibly 40, 42 over here. So for upstart, I think for now it's quite dangerous like, if you're going to trade. And uh, uh, the risk as well as the reward possibly around the same no, currently. Yeah. So just practice some uh, uh, risk management if you are interested. Then uh, next one is LAZ. Uh, Lumina. Okay, for Lumina, I think there's a possible breakdown to place of this uh, train channel over here. Uh, also broke down this recent swing lows at 6.75. So with that price tested this, uh, Current swing low at six dollars. Uh, if it is whole, this whole we could see some form of a retest whether this price support and resistance. Um, if price continue go down further, then the next we will likely go and test the next support around five point five over here. The the stronger support. Um, so for Lumina currently, I would think maybe just price if the the uptrend over here looks to be broken. Then uh, it could be some range. Uh, taking place over here now. Okay, uh, next one, uh, Cloud Fair. Okay, for Cloud Fair, I think um, it's the general trend wise, I think it's still very much in a range. Uh, after results, there was a gap, and then uh, still meeting resistance from this 
uh, the 72 above, so about 75, the price sold down. I think could possibly go and find test the support over here closer to 62. Uh, then we could find some support again. So with these holes, we could continue to train, trade in a bit of a range. Uh, if it doesn't, then we'll go and test some lower levels uh, for support. So some of the lower levels would be like around closer to 55. There's a swing low, uh, swing low as well. Yeah, the previous resistance. So yeah, I think, but for now, it's still holding in the range. Uh. So that, that's all. Nothing much for Cloud Fair now. Okay, hi. Uh, what's the, as a question, what's the stop loss for GEHC? Okay, let's take a look at the counter. Okay, for GEHC, G Healthcare, I think currently, uh, the, the range also here, the range, there, there's a few breakdowns that took place recently. So, this $76, uh, this support, this one level, the second level is this support over here around uh, 74. So in terms of stop loss wise, I think probably we have hit if you're looking, if you're looking at these two support levels. Yeah. So currently looking to is like testing this uh, the next uh, prior a prior resistance uh, that requires a short term support at 71 over here. If it does maintain at this level, if not, then the next support level will be around. 68 over here. So in terms of the structure wise, I think there was a breakdown took place over here. So this range was already broken down. Okay, next one, uh, RTX. Okay, RTX, uh, after the gap down, you can see price is just trading in the range over here, resistance closer to about 88. Uh, support is coming in around 84.5 around here. So uh, if nothing changes, I think you still continue to trade in your range over here, unless you break below this swing low, uh, then possibly the trade price will trade closer to about 81.5. If there's a break up over here of a, this uh, recent range, then maybe price will go and try to retest a prior, a prior uh, Prior supports now as resistance closer to about 91 over here. And so I think for RTX currently nothing too much, uh, just in a range for now. Uh, next one, uh, carrier global. Okay, so for carrier, um, there was a break above this prior resistance, $56. So the break can be hit about uh, 60 price pullback to, to test uh, this prior resistance again, 55. So we see there's some whether there's some support uh, coming in at this level over here, since this is a retest, uh, then uh, Price must be able to test a uh, hole at this level to for the continue upside because uh yeah, this is a key level key resistance over here. If not, there's a chance for like a false breakout given the current uh, sentiment. Yeah, then the next support level if it go down is around fifty three over here. So for carrier, okay, let me see whether there's a trend line support over here. So yeah, there's some. I'm going to take off like this. Uh, you need to see whether uh, the, the support comes in back to uh, above the trend line again to, to make it better for the trend to continue. If not, it could turn out turn to maybe more of a range over here. There's some continued weakness. Okay, uh, Next one is uh, GE. So GE uh, are still holding up pretty well in the, in this uptrend, I'll say. So um, but currently price is just a bit of trading the range. Uh, recently retested fire resistance 111, 112, uh, still holding well as support. 
So price I think just chopping around currently. And some resistance at 115. Uh, next resistance closer to 117. So I think for this sort, the uptrend still uh intact. Um uh, but just chopping around in the range for now. Uh, yeah. Okay, next one, uh MKTX. I market excess holdings. So for this, I think um, it's still quite bearish overall in this trend wise. I think if let's say the next support levels. If a price are able to sustain at this prior resistance to around 240, able to find support. Then could likely go and test around uh 227 next for some next support levels over here. And the next one is around 215, 216. Also for this, I think the trend wise still very much down now. It was a lower high, you can see lower highs, lower lows for the weight. Okay, next one Roblox. Okay, for Roblox. Okay, after the earnings, there was a gap down, then currently price tested around 29, 29.8. This was a prior level, over here prior uh, support over here. So for now, Roblox, if it continues some downside momentum, I think could test, if it breaks the, the, the recent lows, which is around 29, then there's a chance they could go and revisit the next support level around 25. Over here was like two prior swing lows previously for Roblox. So for now, still quite bearish. Huh? Yeah. Then uh, resistance wise, likely to be around, uh, for now, would be around 32 if it does come back to test the, the opening price of over here. There's also upside resistance around uh, 33 to about 34, which was this prior support. Yeah. So for Roblox, actually quite bearish over here. Next one, the uh, EA, uh, Electronic Arts. The EA currently, this looks like a break. There was a breakdown of this $123 uh, support level over here, uh, then the next currently price is at around 1 to 1 over here. So there could be some downside to test the next support level around 119 if this the bearish momentum continues. Okay, then uh, resistance likely to be a retest of this 1 to 3 level over here. So for EA, in terms of the big trend wise, we are just kept in this very big range over here. Uh, then, but currently it looks like we're just there's a pulling back over here. Yeah. Okay, next one now, WM waste management. So for waste management, there is also um breakdown of this uptrend support line as well. Uh right then after that, there was some pullback towards the support over here. So currently at 160, close to 160, there's a support. Uh, looks like price trying to find some support over here, trying to base out a little bit. So if you're able to hold this level, that we could see some sort of bounce. Um, to try and test the, the recent resistance closer to about 160, 465, uh, which was this this high over here as well. So this was a prior resistance as well as support. Yeah. If we can't hold, then likely we go and test the next support around 157 over here. Yeah. So is for waste management. Okay, then next one is McDonald's. Okay, for McDonald's, I think currently uh, is hold, trying to hold in a range over here, but recently there's some weakness in terms of the price uh, action. Uh, you can see lower highs forming uh, 
get the lower, the highs are getting lower in this stretch. And then uh, I think there was a, a upon the test of the resistance, you can see MACD lower high. So some weakness in terms of momentum. Uh, price currently is being supported at this swing low around 287. So this is important if for McDonald's to, to, to continue a bit of a range uh, over here. Um, then current resistance will be around 292, this level which was, uh, since this was the prior support over here, this will become a resistance now. Okay, then if 287 doesn't hold, we will likely go and test closer to 281 over here for X. Okay, next one, uh, Gillette Sciences. Gillette Sciences, I think currently uh, still, still uh, kept in this main downtrend channel over here. But uh, something interesting, I think, is that um, over here, this stretch, higher highs as well as higher lows in form. So um, if you, let's say, form continue to pull back and form a higher low, then there's still a chance for a breakout. To occur. Yeah. But currently, I think we're still finding, we're still going to find some resistance since we're actually at the resistance area 80 to 81 for now. So I would lean a bit more towards a pullback. Maybe some key sub nearby supports you want $79 as well as $77 over here for Gilead. Yeah. And see how it goes. Uh, yeah, but for now, probably in a range over here. Okay, next one, uh, Pfizer. Okay, Pfizer tested uh, the trend, the main downtrend channel. Okay, main downtrend channels uh, support recently around uh, close to 35. And then uh, looks like there's a possible double bottom taking place over here. In the momentum wise, you see higher low MACD. So I will lean towards a bit of a rebound for Pfizer. Uh, if price managed to clear above this 36, 36.4, we could see price go and test the next swing high around 37 uh, over here. And we possibly close out this gap at closer to 37.8. Then uh, we will possibly see this prior uh, support turn into resistance. Yeah. So we could just be forming a bit of a range for now for, for Pfizer over here if this support around 35 is still holding up. Okay, next one, uh, DRIV, uh, Global uh, Autonomous EV ETF. Let's see. We okay, currently uh witness um the higher higher lows formation over here broken down as well as a prior resistance around twenty six over here. So currently we are we are looking at possibly testing the next uh, some support at down to twenty four point seven over here. This swing low. Okay, this was like a prior resistance. Uh, prior resistance level over here as well. So over here then, possibly we could find some bit of a bounce if price is supported over here. Yeah. Okay, then uh, Nicola, next one. Okay, for Nicola, currently uh, the key will be this uptrend support line over here. Uh, but currently, I think price currently breaking down underneath it as well as the breakdown of this uh, $2 swing low. So currently, pre-market, we are down around $160. Um, we'll go on to test some uh, the next support zone, which is around uh, 1.3 to over 1.5 over here. This zone for the next support, if it continues the downwards momentum uh, for Nicola. Okay, the next one is TLT. 
Okay, TLT is this a uh, twenty year treasury bond ETF. So currently, um, uh, uh, it's still quite bearish over here. You can see in this stretch, uh, lower highs as well as lower lows. Then, uh, the key thing recently was a breakdown of this swing low around ninety seven. 97 over here. So price went on to test currently one level of support, which is the prior resistance uh, over here around 95. Yeah. So currently if price is price uh bounce once time one time over here. So it looks like it's close to approaching it the second time. So we see whether it's still able to hold as a support. Uh if not, then price likely might go and fill this gap over here, which is around 92.8. For the T TLT. So over here, here still looking bearish over here in this stretch. I think for this is the inverse of the 20 year 20 year bond U yeah. So I think recently bond use climbed quite a bit. So that's why the we explain the recent weakness uh, over here. Okay, then next one is PayPal. Okay, PayPal, um, this one uh, I was, is, is a bit, uh, is quite uh, unfortunate, I would say. So uh, before the results, I was looking at it, uh, then uh, actually it was trading quite well over here. And see this uptrend channel over here, then uh, slowly clearing the, the prior resistance over here at around 68.72. Then there was a chance for the breakout of this uh, downtrend resistance line. Then suddenly we are, came the results and boom, we are back down. And uh, we are testing. Yeah, so back to, looks like we are back underneath it and testing the $62 level over here again currently. Um, let's see, if it doesn't hold, then I think price, the momentum could bring it down lower to, Okay, to test the, the, the next lower support, which is closer to $59. So for now, you yeah, are looking a bit bearish uh, from, from, a, from more of a quite look, good looking one until then something like that, after the results, a bit uh, a pity. Yeah. So yeah, uh, next one, uh, M phase. Okay, for and face also and the, the bearish trend is still holding holding up you see the range form then there was a breakdown in a lower range form uh, recently looks like a breakdown of this hundred fifty five dollars level uh previous support so the next support we could see as possibly is possibly around uh okay prior let's look at a prior support this is around 129 as a swing low over here Up. Then the uh, next level down will be 118 around there. Uh, so for MFA, still quite bearish over here. Yeah. We'll go and test some of the office supports. Okay, then uh, Twilio. Okay, Twilio currently, I think. There's some weakness, looks to be some weakness setting in currently. Uh, see the momentum is going down and then uh, some re recently there's some lower, high, lower highs and lower lows being formed. So slowly trying to decide, slowly trying to pull back down. Uh, could, if the momentum continues, you could see a potential retest of the 56 swing low, which is around here as well as a prior resistance. Uh, then currently the resistance is around uh, 64 over here, this swing high. So as this downtrend resistance line. Yeah, so for Twilio, I expect a bit of a range over here. La. I'm still continuing a bit of what it has done uh, recently over here. Okay, then next one, uh, Teva Pharmaceuticals. Okay, so for this one, uh, Still holding up the bullish momentum quite well. So um currently the support would be around uh 
uh, over here, it was like a previous resistance and uh, resistance currently uh, acting as a support. Then we are forming a, looks like a consolidation uh, range over here. So if you do break out, there's a chance for, I think there's a chance for the upside to continue, try and test some of the, the, the higher resistance around, uh, around 10.3 over here. So that would be the, probably the next target, then followed by around 10.911 here. Okay, next one is our Melco resistance. So, okay, let me see. Okay, Melco resource looks like there's a possible break down uh, just took place on Friday of this uh, uptrend channel formation, as well as a breakdown of this uh, swing lows around 12.6. So with that, if the very momentum continues, we could see some retest of closer to 11.4, 11.5, this swing low over here. Yeah. So for now, um, yeah, possible breakdown to take note of over here. A bit bearish over here for now. Okay, this one is a over Muller uh, Corp. Okay, I think for this uh, price is still uh, trading in mean or wedge over here. And um, recently, I think uh, there's a little bit of trend reversal taking place over here. The, this higher lows, 216 broken down and the price just trading downwards. So, breaking down of this uh, support, which is around 192. So next one, it will, be, it will be a test of this prior resistance zone around uh, 184, 185. Over here, let's see if able to hold uh, to try and bounce a little bit. If not, we will just go and test the, the next support, uh, which is around 172 over here. Uh, so for now, this stretch is still quite bearish uh, over here. Okay, then next one, ST Lauder. ST Lauder uh, currently, it's trading near the uh, channel support of this downtrend channel, which is around 167. Yeah, let's see whether if it's supported, then it could start to do a bit of range as the recent support that was being broken down at 176 over here. Now, if it doesn't hold, then likely we'll go and test the next support level, which is around, I think, 155, 156 over here, some prior swing goes. Okay, next one, uh, GM. Okay, General Motors. General Motors are very rich for now. Uh, could be going to test the supports over here again in this, in this big range over here. Yeah, so supports over here will be around uh, these lows, which is around one level is around the 32 over here, possibly. Yeah, cool price could go and test if the bearish momentum actually continues. And for now, there's a retest of this prior resistance uh, around 33.7. See whether it's able to rebound. Yeah. If not, you go back down to the, to the old supports over here. Okay, this one DYD.
maybe I'm yeah, not sure referring to the car maker or this uh, void gaming. So uh, if you're referring to the car maker, you can type in the chat box below, then I'll go through it. Uh, but for this BYD void gaming, I think uh, for now, the trend wise, you think this, so you can take higher highs, higher lows. Uh, currently, price just a bit. Uh, let me try to draw a trend line over here. Uh, price just uh, sideways a bit. Uh, I see whether it's able to get back above this trend line. As long as it doesn't break below these swing lows over here around 65.5. Okay, I think I'll uh, type the car one. Okay, let me see. Yeah. Okay, I think this uh, Hong Kong. Okay, thanks for clarifying. Uh, okay, so for this PYD, um, currently bearish down on this uptrend channel, uh, price close to one first level of support is around 228. Over here, this swing low price resistance. Yeah, so there's a one level to look out for. Then the next level will be around, will be around 220, which is this range uh, support over here for BYD. Okay, next one, uh, charge point holdings. A charge point, I think, um, still be bearish for now. As you can see, price drifting downwards, and then um, still looks like it's trading in this possible wedge over here. So if that price might actually just continue its current momentum and go down to test recent lows on seven point three over here, uh, if it does go and test the wedge support downwards, would be maybe around six point. 36.4 over here. Current resistance likely to be around 8.2, 8.3 over here. Okay, next one, uh, Boeing. Okay, for Boeing, currently, uh, still, still okay. It's after the break over here, it's just holding the range possible a uh, bullish flag over here as long as it's still sustained. So I think for now, could we see some more consolidation? Maybe, yeah, just continue to trade a bit more in this range. So for now, yeah, support it will be this swing low around 231 two, and resistance close to 241. So um, next level to watch out for would be uh, if it breaks up, then uh, I think the next levels to watch out for will be around 252. There's one swing high at 258. There's another swing high. So it's for Boeing. Of course, uh, yeah, let's, see how, let's see how it con uh, carries on. Okay, this one, uh, Exxon Enterprise. Okay, for this previously, it was downwards trending. After the earnings, uh, there was a gap above. Then uh, price testing uh, this, this resistance area around 207, 208 over here. So um, I think let's say if price is able to hold around 204, this level over here, uh, there's a chance that it could clear this resistance and go up to so try and test uh the this swing highs around two to six over here next time. Yeah, so it'll be interesting whether it is able to to clear the resistance over here if it, they are previously.
Okay, next one, the IIPR, Innovative Industrial Properties. Okay, for now, I think currently uh, still looking not to get uh, trading in uptrend channel and um, the, the key thing is like uh, interesting would be this prior 81.5 level previous support and uh, trying to resistance. Uh, let's see where the price is able to hold at this level. If it does, then we could see potential continuation of the bullish uh, stretch over here recently. Then could go ahead and test some levels at around 85, 86 over here. The next swing high as well as the uh, next one will be around 80, sorry, 91 over here. So just these levels. Okay, then I see uh, Disney as well. Okay, for Disney, I think uh, could be interesting for Disney. Um, Previously, was consolidating in this descending wedge over here. You can see lower highs. And after the result, we had a higher. This we managed to break above this uh, eighty nine dollars level over here. This to create a, a short term higher high, and the uh, breakout of this wedge as well. So in during the period of this consolidation, there was like bullish divergence building on MACD as well. So, um, this could signal for a possible breakout to take place. Uh, let's say prior does retest. Do a retest over here around 88 and support the rank. Then we could see some uh, bounce upwards to try and test some the prior level of resistance. So one level is around uh, 94 over here, then followed by 96 in the short term. Now, then support will likely be around 88 currently, which is this. Uh, there was a support over here, then resistance. Then uh, I think currently at this confluence would. Act as a, uh, some support over here for Disney. Yeah. So something to I think watch out for. Yeah, okay, I think there's two more counters. Uh, first one, Palantir. Okay, Palantir currently uh, some weakness after the breakdown of this uh, wedge over here around 17, price pulling back currently around 15.4. So uh, if the downside momentum continues, we'll go and test some supports at um, 14.5 as well as 13.5 over here, then possibly there could be some support at this level. Yeah. Okay, then uh, next one, PLS. Okay, I'm almost ready as PSL here. Okay. PLS. Okay. PLS. Um, how's biosensors? Okay, so for this pulse, I think currently uh, looks like uh this trend, this uptrend support line will be key to, to see whether it's able to hold up. Yeah, so for now it's still holding up. And uh recently there was a break above this 7.3 uh, price, but it came down subsequently very fast. Um then price just hovering around in the range over here. So I expect price will be just trade. Uh, between about 6.6 .6 to about uh, 7.9 over here, it's just kept in range over here. And then short time, the next resistance will be just this swing uh, around 8.8. .8. So I think nothing too much for now. This, not much volume on this stock as well. Yeah. So, okay, I think that's all for today. Uh, thanks for all the questions. Uh, I'll just splash the 
me just stop sharing and just uh, put up the survey, survey link in the chat. Okay, uh, so um, thanks everyone for attending today's session. Uh, feel free to fill up the survey form over here in this link uh, to give any feedback about how uh, you can improve your experience in the future webinars. Also, uh, you can join our the Poem Street community on technical analysis you haven't. So over there, uh, you can actually drop questions on. If you have any key questions you want to ask or discuss, then let's drop the counters over there. Then um, I'll try to reply as soon as possible when I see them. So uh, that's it for today. Uh, have a safe trading week ahead for all of you. And um, just recently, market has been a bit volatile. Uh, there was a big pullback recently. So uh, just take note of your all your risk management, like your position sizing, as well as your activities, your stop loss, your target, all these kind of things. Also, uh, earnings will play. Earnings will also be important. So let's say, like even you have a good chart pattern, and earnings come in, right? You can just uh, I mean, you can just go up, go down a lot. So there's something to know of as well. Yeah, just be cautious of all these little things. Yeah, so uh, let's say for today, have a good night, everyone. Um, safe trading ahead. I see you again next week. Bye bye.